grip tape, a copa and a lapper and a few heavy duty bearings. What kind of jargon is that? That's no jargon. I'm talking about skateboards. And I'm here at Skateboard World, the largest skateboard shop on this here continent. Let's go check them out. Hello, hello, anybody there? Hello? Hey, g'day, uh, how are you? Uh, uh, good, thanks. Um, I'd like a skid block, grip tape, copper, copper lapper and a few heavy duty bearings. It um, sounds to me like you want a skateboard. Yeah, a skateboard. Well, you've got to start from the bottom. We've got to get to the wheels first. Now, if you want some wheels, I'll show you where we go from here. Oh, that's nice. I, I like the pink colour. Oh, the green's pretty cute too. No, um, there's a lot, the more, lot more to it than just the colour alone. There's not just the colour, you've got the shape does have something to do with it, but once you get to a shape like this, you're sort of in the ultimate sort of situation anyway. So it's what you've got to do is look at the material they're made of. This one here is what they call an industrial urethane. It's hand poured, but it's an industrial quality, so it's mainly meant for street riding. It's a slightly softer compound. Then you go to something like this, there's a really high rebound urethane, which is going to run really well. It's going to go fast, last a long time, and give you just the sort of performance you want to give you a peak performance. I have to change my wheels here. Uh, previously I had on a harder wheel, which is more suited to a smooth wooden ram. These wheels are softer, they offer more grip and a smoother ride on the rougher cement half pipe here. The next thing you need is some trucks. No, I don't want a truck, Peter. I, I want a skateboard. No, no, you've got it all wrong. If you want a skateboard, you've got to have trucks. You've got to have something to hold your wheels on, haven't you? Now, you've still got a couple of different types of trucks because they're suitable for different things. Firstly, if you want to ride on the street, then you've got something like this here. Still very wide, but suitable for street skating. If you want to skate in the bowl, then you need something really heavy duty. Really wide, but extra heavy duty. The way the trucks work is they pivot on the point right through here. So they lean from side to side. So then, when you're skating, you don't have to tic-tac along the street or in a bowl. You just lean from side to side. Sort of like a steering wheel. A steering wheel on a car, exactly. And you'll find every good skateboarder has got trucks they can trust. Before you can skate, you've still got to have a deck. And without a deck, there's no skating. Yeah. Now, you've got quite a few different types of decks. You've got things like this here, all nice and bright and colourful. But most of all, they're very wide. All the really good skateboarders today have wide skateboards. They're a lot more stable, they're easier to ride and much easier to do tricks on. And of course, they're a lot stronger too. Now, your wide boards have always got to have your grip tape on it, otherwise mm -hmm. you're going to slip off. So without that, the skateboard's no good. Now, you put all of this together and you get some really hot skating. got your basic skateboard together you've got to get some protective gear for the board otherwise your board just won't stand up to the wear and tear firstly you've got your skid pad at the back because you use that as a brake so it also makes it easier though for tricks when you want to spin around on the tail of your board then you've got your nose guard right up the front here so that when you fall off and your board goes sailing into the gutter you won't have any splitting of your deck then the next thing you've got is your rails along the side because when you're going along and you want to hop off a gutter, they'll help you by just sliding along there and making mm -hmm. it easy so it doesn't grab into the timber on the deck. Then, of course, you might want to go along and grind along some gutters. Then you need your copers, and that'll protect your trucks for you. One last accessory, but last but not least, is the lapper, so that when you're going along and you want to hop up onto a gutter, that makes it easier. You just skid along mm -hmm. your skid plate here, and this just slides up the gutter really easily. Now you've got a complete board, because all you need is you and some radical terrain. Ah! Right, I've got my skateboard gear on and my protective covering, knee pads, elbow pads, wrist braces, helmet, not to mention my trusty skateboard. And of course I've got some radical terrain, so I'm ready for a heavy session of watching skateboarding. Come on guys, let's hit the bowl! Ah! 